Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Avocado Tomatillo Salsa. That's right, this is one of my favorite all-time warm weather condiments. Literally good on anything grilled and many things that aren't. It's really, really tasty, requires no cooking, and only takes about 10 minutes to make. Other than that, it's not that great. So let me show you how to make this. It only requires a couple ingredients. Of course, we're going to need a nice ripe avocado and some of these. These are tomatillos. And they basically look like a small green tomato in this papery husk. Although they're not related to tomatoes, I believe they're actually related to the gooseberry, of all things. And yes, these are very small ones. They're usually bigger than this. Okay, so you're going to need some fresh tomatillos. We're also going to use some cilantro and some kind of hot green chili. I'm using a serrano. You could use jalapeno. And as far as prep goes, there's really not much to this. Step one, you're going to pull all that paper off the tomatillos. And you'll notice as you do it, they're a little bit sticky. So once I peel them all, I do like to rinse them off in hot water. I have no idea if this does anything or not, but it does make me feel better. And then I do like to slice these up so they blend a little easier. So I'm going to cut these in half. And like I said, these are very small. If you get the larger ones, you might have to quarter them. And you notice that some of them have a little bit of purple coloration. I'm assuming that's perfectly safe. So I'm going to cut those up and I'm going to throw them into my little mini food processor. So after our tomatillos are prepped, we're going to go ahead and slice up a little bit of hot pepper. Of course, the amounts are to taste. I'm going to use maybe two thirds of this. All right, I'm not going to seed it or scrape out the membrane, so it is going to be very spicy. And by the way, it's a really good idea to wear gloves for this part of the process because you'll forget it's on your fingers and you'll accidentally burn your tender bits. And you know who'll get blamed? Me. All right, so be careful. All right, so after the chili goes in, we're going to prep our avocado. And I'm sure I've showed you this before. You're going to take a knife and you're going to cut down to the pit and go all the way around. Give it a twist. It will separate in half. 50% of the avocado will contain 100% of the pit. So we're going to just tap that with our knife, give it a little twist, and that comes right out. So simple. And then we're simply going to take a big spoon and scoop that out into our blender or food processor. And of course, I'll guess at the measurements on the blog post, but it's roughly going to be equal parts avocado and tomatillo. And then after the avocado, we're going to push in the cilantro. I'm also going to squeeze in the juice of half a lime. You really don't need a lot of acidity here because those tomatillos are quite tart. Speaking of which, I've actually had a tomatillo tart for dessert, and it was very delicious. So maybe one of these days we'll give that a try. So we're going to squeeze in a little bit of lime juice, and then last but not least, we're going to season it with salt. And then we're simply going to blend this until very, very smooth. And as you can see here, I'm just using that little food processor that came with my immersion blender. But I've done this in a blender or a regular food processor, and it works just fine. So anything that will give you a puree will work. And when you're done, it will look something like that. Even if you hate the taste, you'll have to admit it's a gorgeous, gorgeous looking sauce. Just a beautiful green color. And other than giving it one final taste for seasoning, you're done. That's it. Avocado and tomatillo salsa. I told you it was unbelievably simple. And at that point, you're free to use that on like a million different things. An obvious choice would be spooned over some grilled pork tacos. That was some pork sasina that I will show you in an upcoming video. And other than on grilled meat, it's also fantastic just served with chips. Here I have taro chips and it was so delicious. And apparently those are better for me than potato chips. Or so Big Taro Root would have us believe. So like I said at the beginning, just a fabulous, all-purpose, warm weather condiment. Right? Just a beautiful, fresh flavor. If you like guacamole, and pretty much everybody does, I think you'll like this. And of course, there's lots of other stuff we could add to this, but don't. Just keep it simple. So I really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy!